Hey guys, Holiday Master here, and uh, I've got some pretty awesome freaking news, and I'm really happy about it. So, in one of my latest videos, I showed you how I put permanent paint on the Grinch here, and how it worked and everything. I'm not done yet. Um, after I'm gonna go to church here, but after I get back from church, my plan is to finish the hat. I gotta paint. You can't really tell. I don't think. Yeah, kinda. Uh, the front of the hat's all thin, and then when that dries, I'll sew it back down to where it was bent. I did the back of the hat. Uh, I started his arms. I finished Max. Um, well, not finished. I still have on his other side. I have to finish the side, that side of the head. But to do that, I'm gonna have to uh, unattach that so I can, you know, fully dry it. But I realized something. The paint was really working from what I had. It just, it didn't have enough pressure. Like the fan wasn't strong enough. And I thought, okay, I don't want to cut Max open at the bottom to give him a fan. Um, and then I remembered, I have two of these little fans and the one, this one never gets used. Mainly because it doesn't have the lights on it anymore. I cut the lights off. Um, I forget why. I forget why I did that. Anyway, uh, Max's tail was really, really thin. And, uh, well, not really thin, but enough to show into him and I can see everything inside there. So I'm going to put a thin coat on his tail. But all I did was I cut it halfway. Because, I mean, I only did this because, you know, who's going to see his tail? It's on the back of him. Yeah, I just realized I have red paint on me. Uh... So, um, shoot, what was I going to say? Got distracted there. Anyway, so yeah, it tightly fits on there, and then the zip ties help it stay on. I mean, I've been pulling at it, so I don't know, I, it, it's not coming off. So, and this, this fan's not very strong. It, it's pretty weak. I mean, it, um, I have the four foot Mickey for Thanksgiving, the Scarecrow Mickey. And all those four foot Mickeys are top heavy. I realize that I have two of them. No, three of them actually. Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Fourth of July. And uh, I just, I feel like they're too top heavy. Like this fan didn't even hold it up. So I put another, I put some other fan on it. I think it was one of the bigger circle fans like it should have. But anyway guys, I'm extremely happy right now because one, I'm not even done finishing painting it yet. Cause you know I gotta I gotta do the whole front yet. This is just doing the back and Max. Uh, well, other than his face, I did his face. Um, I'm gonna need more paint. I ran out again. We went and bought more. I'm almost out again. Uh, Cause I, I did put a second coat on it just to make it safe. So I'm hoping this really works. Uh, I'll do a third video. You know after I complete the whole thing. And, you know, there's, like, red on the green, and I gotta get white paint now and, you know, do the rim, and then it should be done. Uh, anything on the back, though, I'm not real worried about. There's some on the front, too, but... As you can see, he still was holding air from the last time I just had him on. So... Yeah, without further ado, I was worried about Max, you know, because I got the same color of his tail, like, paint. Well, my mom did. I didn't. So, again, no one's going to see his tail, so I, I don't care. His ears are a little bit lighter now, but that's okay. Uh, but you can see the big difference. And that's another thing. i got to flip him. Like, I'm going to do the back first and then do the front. Like, lay him on his back, inflated, and do the whole front or whatever I missed. So, um, and then after I paint it and everything, I'll do an inside review on it. Um, like when it's done, I'm going to do one now, um, and then I'll go outside and I'll test it, you know, with water. If it works, I'll make a video. If not, I'll probably still make a video, but I just, you know, I'm worried that it might not work and then I let you guys down or something, but let me get my stand here. Put my phone on the stand.
if you're wondering what that noise is, I have that inflatable one over there. I did a coat, a black coat on the mouth. The mouth was thin. Here we go. I might have to. Sorry I don't have a shirt on, guys. I was painting and I didn't want to get it on, you know, before I go to church. So yeah, guys. Um, like I said, I gotta finish this side of Max's face. Yep. But I really liked how the brown turned out. But like, and that's what I mean. I gotta touch it up with green, or with white, I mean. But, yeah, I didn't even do the front yet. I did the shoulders. I did the here on the shoulders. It's still a little bit wet. But like, I'm just so happy. I mean, it might not look like it should, but it's, if you poke it now, you know, it's not gonna really squish. It, I, you can tell it's working. It's like, his face is really holding there. Like I'm, I'm trying to not press on it too hard, but I'm pressing on it pretty good and it's, it's pretty packed. So, yeah guys, for now, as you can see, it works. Um, and honestly, if, the, if it doesn't do, do good with water, I'll probably have to leave it on my porch or something. But that's what I was thinking. The same paint, these two paints, the red and the green, same, or same type, uh, I painted a bird bath for a friend of ours and with that same paint and it's still holding up bird bath though it holds water uh, it's been out in the rain so and I know it's stone and not thread and that's what I'm worried about so hopefully you know it, it shows up good because if not then I'm gonna have a messy Grinch and I don't really want that to be honest but hey you gotta take risks you know I mean the only reason I'm doing this is because I love this guy, and if I can at least get him to last a few more years, then I'll be happy. So, and then before I go, I'll unplug him and I'll show you, instead of just, you know, deflating right away. Like, this time before, he would have been almost flat. That's why last year I had a pull on him, uh in my display but like he's slowly deflating like a normal inflatable should so if you guys are wondering what that is uh see how it's like wrinkly here there was this is real where it was really really thin like i could put almost put my finger through it and uh i got this type of glue i forget what it was like a sealer's glue and i and these are the pads that come with it you know to patch something and I was spreading it around with this so I didn't get it on my fingers or a paintbrush. And uh, I accidentally let it there and it stuck. So, my bad. I was actually thinking I might put a string holder on it if I can, you know, sew a string holder to it. That way there's one in the back. But, yeah, when I'm all done, I'll take whatever leftover paint I have and fix where I did it. I mean, I'm not worried about the horn. Mainly just up on his facial area and the white uh, trim. But, so yeah guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and peace out.